Why the Orioles are hating so much, man? They're the leaders in home runs. Uh, with the low budget. Low budget, hitting a lot of bombs. They're leaders in home runs. And they are playing, they're fighting for the first place in the, in the MLB. Or, in the league, or, right? In the league. So, yeah. Th listen, people. We're going to talk about this. This video is so important for y'all. And for a lot of people, they're... They're more like, uh, you know, the fans, you know, like they want they they want to listen to whoever play for longer and want the best information for, you know, a real Barry Bones. I want I want to hear them talk about hitting, but we will give you information that I feel I feel in my opinion, in our opinion, is very helpful for the Orioles become one of the best hitting team in the nation, in the MLB, in the best league of baseball. And let me tell you what. For you to become a great hitter, you have to be able to make adjustments. You have to be able to learn how to hit. You have to be able to learn your body. But the most important, you need to have the right people right next to you. And when I talk about right people right next to you, I'm talking about hitting coaches. Yes. Because when we're talking about having money of be in baseball and you play in a position, you should be hitting. And a lot of prospects, a lot of legends, I mean, not legends, a lot of good players, I don't know where they disappear. They're not hitting the ball. They don't find themselves because they sometimes they don't find the right help. They, right, they find the right people, maybe they're right next to them, like they're nice people. But when you're talking about coaching, is so important in this level. The MLB, they are so behind that we should have more guys with more knowledge about hitting than just putting somebody that played 20 years. Mm -hmm. We need to stop picking friends and pick people that really know what happened in their good sequence, in a good mechanics with all that. Because knowing if you know the right mechanics from the best hitters, you should be at least, at least working with people that are willing to, that are willing that for you be working with people that are wanna play in the best league. Okay, now listen this. Look at this. You see this guy right here. This guy is a coach, hitting coach. Co He's the co-hitting co co-hitting coach for the Orioles. For the Orioles. Yep. And this guy, I knew, I I saw this guy from Instagram a long time ago. Yeah, he's been in doing this for a little while. This dude, he was putting drills like this. About posture, turning that little broomstick back. Uh, you know, the right idea, the right move, you know? And this guy right now is in the order. Look at how he's turning that barrel right there. Turning that barrel, boom. And you're probably thinking, oh, but he, he played. No, 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 no. He did not play the level that you probably expecting. He just went to college two years in Connecticut, played for two, uh, so went there, played for two years, something like that, and signed as a free agent with the diamond it's with the Diamondbacks. And he didn't last too long. He just one year right there, get out. He was a teacher. And then he, uh -huh, he became a teacher, my, uh, an English teacher. English teacher. And he has his little indoor hitting facility, teaching little kids, just like us. Yes. I, we got a bachelor degree. We got like physical. I got physical education. You got Spanish. We got right? a, teach, a teacher. Teacher. Yeah. We got teachers too. But I feel like uh, the best coaches, they're teachers. And he know how to be a teacher because that's, that's his career. Now, as a baseball player, they're playing for so long. Now, if you associate teaching with baseball, you can become a great coach mm -hmm. because really coaching is just teaching kids, teaching players, younger people, how to do something that you probably have knowledge about it. But the good thing is when you're a teacher, you have better ways to explain things. And when you got those kind of people around you, you impact more people around. Like if you got 20 players with the right description, Around 20 players, at least more than 10, they will get the right information because you describe it right. And people will get more with you and understand you and, and 
guide themselves more to you because you can explain things right. You can explain things that make sense, the right move, not just the idea of throwing the knob out there, mm -hmm. just the idea of, you know, they don't just throwing the idea, they throwing the right move and they probably doing the right drills for those players to become like elite hitters because he seemed like a, he know right there. He know what is the right move. He seemed like a, he know what is the right move. He tilting, he turning a barrel. He's not pushing the hands. He's just not throwing hands out there. So with that being said, I want to talk about something clear that you may be close to our hitting coordinator in MLB. You may be some a uh, friend of a uh, head coach in the MLB or something close to uh, MLB team, right? Uh, important person. We need to stop hiding, uh, hi hire. We need to stop hire, hiring, 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 hiring people. They just because they play in the MLB, that's why they become. They need to be out there. I don't say everybody, but a lot of them, they just there because they play and they just want to be around. But when we're talking about business, this is business, right? You need to put people that give, they can give good information and good description about what they're being hired. So if you're a pitching coach, I want you to explain my kids how to move like the best. Mm -hmm. I want you to teach my kids, like you teach everybody else around uh, outside to become one of the best. Instead of just hire people they just play the game and then but like you can teach it you can teach it that's the problem that's the problem in baseball that's why you don't see too much hitting because we are so behind and a lot of those players because they, they say no the problem today is because everybody's trying to do lunch angle lunch angle oh my gosh dude just because you see people in in youtube or instagram doing elevating or or doing some drills that you don't you, you don't understand that don't mean that's the problem because really the problem is those people don't work the whole year with them they're working with somebody inside there trying to get information every day with somebody that can give the information because they hire for it mm -hmm. they you got if you get hired and you like a dinosaur coach you like to throw your hands you're gonna tell the kid you no know, when i used to play i used to think on top of the ball yeah it's gonna be Two or three players, they're going to get the information and they're going to probably, okay, they're going to do right. But what about the rest? It's going to be less people doing things right because they got poor information. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's the Orioles have good developed program right there. Good developed program. And that's why, development program, yeah. That's why I feel, I don't know if the rookie league doing good, but it seems something's right. Yeah, because we so with such a low budget and they're leaders in homers. Compared to the Yankees. Compared to it? the Yankees. The Yankees, their budget is with the active uh, players over $250 million. Woo! And the the Orioles just $75, $76 million. Say it, brother. Say it. Look at how low his budget is and look at how good they're doing. That's, so the that's thing. telling you a lot right there. Uh, Owners, parents, think about who is developing your kids. Owner of the team, think about how to develop players instead of just trying to pay so much money for players. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're you trying to get a player after they become famous and then you hire them. But they the problem is you can, you, can, you can pay for, let's say, Acuna. Ah, let me get Acuna. He was good in the brave. But if he don't got good development or good people around them that can give him the good information, you're probably going to lose a lot of money. Because, yeah, at first the people are going to go watch him. But when this, when he getting in struggles and nobody can fix him, somebody with him in the ear, like telling him, like, look, at, go through this place. Look, at, you're not turning the barrel. You're not getting good posture. You, if you don't got those people that got the m more close knowledge about elite swing, You're not shooting for the stars. Nope. You're just shooting low. You just I don't like those coaches that don't know. Eh, he's hitting the ball. I don't know. He's good. I think we need to just talking smooth in the ear. Nah. Nah, bro. Uh, that's probably a part of the of the deal. Yeah. But it's not all. 
I know players right now. They are in the membership, the VIP LosCastroPros.com. You become, you want to become a member, you can get there. We got drills, we got all that, and we can help you with the right description. We got players. They don't like that. I don't like to sweet talk to me. I don't like you to motivate me. I just want you to tell me what I'm F doing wrong because you want to get it done. And that's what we do. And that's what all these coaches need to do. Just go to, through the point. Look at you. You're moving forward. You're not tilting the back. But a lot of coaches, they don't, they don't know and they don't realize because they're thinking, I played 20 years, so I know something. It's not and about the, knowing something. It's about how you can teach it. And I feel like uh, the ones that play and work good, they're even worse. They're worse. Because they're going to tell you, I used to do this. Oh, I'll do it like no, this. You no, got to do it like this. No, no. They coach by feeling too much. They're no. bad. That's it's, not good. It's like, a, I don't know, you, you, your feet hurt, but you know a doctor. And you say, well, uh, I cured it with stopping working out. And then the doctor tell you, they want to study you and say, heal it, heal it, heal it, heal it, heal it sorry. My English sucks. You know what? What well, we need teacher in English. We need English. We teacher. need an English lesson. Yeah, that's the that's my problem. I, I had too much ego to go to a teaching classes because I think I know English, but I don't know crap. <laughs> you see, that's 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 a good example. You see? Yeah, yeah, you need the right people talking you to you but in we, English. We don't have no ego, and we accept it, and we go, and we try to get it done. We had to fix the problem. Yes, and I think hitting were a baseball in MB, we are. A lot of uh, coaches or or like coaches, players, they're scared. They they put they put us in one basket. Like probably when they see us doing drills, they're thinking, no, this is launch angle. That don't work. Who tell you we are launch angle? You get what I'm saying? It's not about launch angle or it's about the right move. Try to compare with the best and then you can move like the best. If we can get more people to understand that, and you got prospect, they're just coming out from the little league, going to the MLB, you want people like that guy. Mm -hmm. That guy, he's a teacher. He just, he probably go throw good BP, but at the, uh, having a knowledge about how to be a teacher, when the players get in the struggles, you probably know how to uh, repro um Communicate. Communicate, yeah. You probably know, okay, he's mad right now, but I know if we move like this and he's study because teachers, we are students too. Teachers, we are, okay, if we want to say something smart, mm -hmm. we have to study what we're going to say because we are teachers. Teachers have to do that all the time. We cannot speak loud and that's it. Speak with our feelings. Oh, I feel bad, so everybody should feel bad. No, I should feel like this and I should, no. Oh, y'all sucks all day. Why y'all suck? No, look why they doing wrong. Look, look for things that before they get in a struggle, look for things, study the swing, analyze the videos, put people like that in the MLB, in the Yankees, they need to put more people like that. Yes. Dude, it should, baseball, you, talent, talented players, they just need to have the right people. And right people is not mean that somebody played 20 years. No. And that's it. No, you need to have teachers. At the same time, you need to have some experienced guys out there. But nobody cares about coaches. When when the fans come, they don't care about coaches. I no. don't see them like going there. Oh, we're gonna see the assistant coach. Is there? No, fans go out there to see a team win. And I think coaches they're behind the curtains. Why does it matter if you hire, I don't know, Pujols or A Rod? It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. People want the team win. That's why they buy jerseys and they bet on teams and they put money on teams. Team need to win. You need to hire good coaches, the people that can resolve their problem and they can shine. Coaches don't need to shine. The shine is like this. This is, I give the shine to this guy. I'm putting this guy in this YouTube because I feel like I, he need, he deserves some credit. What is his name? Fuller? Uh, Ryan, Ryan Fuller. Fuller. Ryan Fuller. So Ryan Fuller. He's doing a good job. And I know you're probably not lonely, but just to know that you have the right information and you're the co-hitting co co hitting coach. Co -hitting coach. Like mm -hmm. a, one of the leaders of hitting, you know, and you got some, something to say in that team. And having that opportunity with you out there and you got a little prospect child problems with hitting, you probably give him better guidance. Even that, you can tell the head coach, look, 
his swing not looking right, I feel like he will struggle because you know what you're looking. Instead of like, ah, oh, he's going to be fine. Or like, or ah, he sucked. You should put him down. No, I feel like that guy, just because he's coming from that background, working kid, kid day by day. Because I, let me tell you, we are working with kids and little girls, little boys and pros or whatever every day. And I know how hard it is. When you're coaching teams and you're a head coach, you don't have to do the whole individual thing, right? You just kind of make decisions. And I think we need that too. Mm -hmm. But as a hitting coach, you need to understand how they move and go as an individual. Like, look at you hands doing this. You doing that. Look at, let's compare the videos. Look at you. Look at you in the years in the past. You need to have a teacher because hitting is just so specific. I mean, you just throw bullets all around and just hopefully they get, get it done out of nowhere. You're probably going to fail as a team. And I think this, this team is doing really well yep. uh, as a, having a program of a low budget. Low develop, budget. Yeah, good develop, develop. Uh, development program. And they then have it. if you got good developed program, mm -hmm. now what happened? You team get more money because fans are there watching the team win. And guess what? You can sell your players. If you got good development program, program, you can sell your players. It's not about they all gonna make it to the Orioles, make the Orioles win. It's about like if you can sell or trade good players, young players, because they got good numbers. Now, if they grab them and they sucks in the other team, who cares? That's your that's the business, right? Because they got the right people. I think like the Marlins, Marlins need to get in that. They need to. Marley needs to just get good good coaches. If they don't got good budget, good coaches. Get that team. Get it winning. Yes, sir. People, subscribe over here. See you on the next video.